Hello everyone, Lisa Mendoza here. So I tried to record um, a video earlier today and I'm filming and I'm filming and I started my um, decorating my first week of May. Um, everything was going good and I didn't realize that my phone battery died, which is what I use for my recordings. <clears throat> and so it only captured like... <laughs> 18 minutes <laughs> and that was it so but um, maybe that was a blessing because I am back here again however I changed up my insert a little bit and this is just a trial thing this is not in the store yet um, the regular one with the lined journal boxes and these and this is just a blank box this is a blank box and then this one's lined let's see I'll show it to you um so it looks like this. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so these um, are blank. These are lined for journaling. And I decided to try a dot grid. Um, I'm, I'm already not sure if I like it just because I'm used to this so much. However, the reason why I wanted to do this is because specifically for this box, um, I understand, you know, some people may want to use it for journaling. I may want to use it for journaling, but I noticed that when I stamp certain images in here, the lines go through the image. Um, so uh, I figured with a dot grid, I can still line things up. I can still journal straight because it has a dot grid. Um, but when I stamp images, it won't have lines going through it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and then since I did that, I thought, okay, do I leave these blank and just have dot grid in these? And I thought, well, that'll be kind of weird. What if people want to um, align their stamps and they want a little bit of a dot grid to assist in that? So anyway, I just changed the whole thing. Actually, I created a second version, so my first version isn't gone, but um, I created a second version with the dot grid and I'm gonna see today how it works. So, um, okay, so I have some ink pads here. I have um, Linen by Close to My Heart. I have my VersaFine um, Onyx Black ink, which is my favorite, but it doesn't come in 5,000 colors. So the next favorite would be VersaFine Claire, which comes in colors, but not in pastels. So if I wanna use pastels, I use Catherine Puller and I pulled um, Lilac and Sparkling Berry. Sparkling Berry is probably my new absolute favorite pink. And then I just have a damp um, chamois off to the side to clean my stamps. I have, um, this is just my six by six Fiskars um, self-healing cutting mat, but what I like is the other side because it has a nice spongy surface that is great for stamping, um, to use as a platform for stamping. So I have that. Um, I have some acrylic blocks here. I'm sure I'm gonna need more. Um, and then, I'm going to be using these sticker books. So, ah, okay, so these sticker books I made from scratch. <laughs> and I print and cut all of these stickers. Um, and all of these stickers um, were um, printable digital files that you can buy off Etsy. Um, and you can print them yourself and cut them. Now, they were not formatted like this for a four by six with a margin on the left so that I could punch. I literally reformatted everything because I wanted all of this company in one book. And then it quickly grew into two books. <laughs> so I have them all categorized. You can kind of see the tabs at the top. Um, there's tabs, travel, weather, um, self-care, seasonal, planning, habits, functional, you know, things like that. So I created this whole thing. So I'm going to be using um, these stickers. And the reason I'm going to be using these stickers is because yours truly is now licensed to sell physical products with this art. So what that means is the company Plan So Cute, who's on Etsy, um, if you want to print and cut your own stickers, you can do so. You can go to their website and shop away, download them, and print and cut um, 
However, if you don't want to go through that fuss, or maybe you're not a print and cut person, it's just too much trouble, or it's too intimidating, or you just don't know how, or you just don't have a machine, or you don't have room for the machine, so that's why you don't do it. Um, whatever the reason may be, um, I am going to be listing collections from this art line, or doodle line, um, on my Lisa Love Studio website. Um, things will be coming out slowly at first. I'm going to see how it goes and see if I like it. Um, but it will be provided to you um, if you get them from me and you purchase the physical products, which means I will ship you the stickers. They are going to come like this. They're going to come four by six. They're going to come with a left margin. Sorry, my printer is making all kinds of noise. But anyway, um, it's going to come with a left margin where you can opt to have it unpunched. Maybe you want to take these four by six sheets and you want to put them in a Simply Gilded sticker album. I mean, I don't know what how you want to organize them. Um, maybe you want to put them on um, rings instead of discs. So the option will be unpunched or punched for discs the way you see here. And so... The great thing about these and having them formatted like this, look at these grocery store ones, um, is every time you order more sticker sheets, you can put them in your little binder and you can take them with you to um, craft meetups or if you're going out of town or if you're taking a road trip or whatever, your sticker collection come, come with you like this. So I find it very exciting. I'm a very, um, I love to organize my stash. I love to organize my craft supplies. And so when I saw so many options to be able to print and cut, this was my idea um, just for myself of what I wanted to do. And then um, when there was an opportunity to get a license to sell the physical products, I thought, I think people might like this um, for themselves. <laughs> and so I'm going to be offering that. And you can categorize them however you want. You can just buy a couple. You can buy whatever, right? It's just going to be sticker sheet options. But um, they can be made into a little book like this. I'm also going to be selling the covers, the custom covers like this. Um, and then they'll have an option to have a little pocket here. I have some little die cuts here that are so cute. So eventually I'll have die cuts. I'll have notepads. I'll have probably some coffee mugs for you to put your pens in. You know, just notepads. Just I have all kinds of ideas going through my head. Um, but we're going to take this slow. So um, I wanted to go ahead and use these incredible stickers. I love them so much. So I'm going to use them for my first week of May. Um, I'm going to incorporate stickers, washi, stamping, just all the stuff that I love so much, right? And I'm going to test out this dot grid option. Um, if you like it, let me know in the comments. If you prefer the original version, if it's something that you have down purchased and downloaded, then let me know. I'm just, I just kind of want to get a gauge. Um, you know, I just kind of thought of it on a whim today and I thought, well, let me go ahead and print these inserts and... Um, and see what I think. So hopefully all these dots will kind of disappear. You know what I mean? As the um, as the decoration kind of comes along. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is, I know I'm gonna sticker, I know I'm gonna washi. Let's go ahead and start with the, um, the month stamp at the very top. So I'm gonna use um, a May month stamp and I don't know which one, so let me see. Um, I have these options. This is so cute. But, um, so this one is Catherine Puller. I'm just afraid, so if I just kind of hover it over here like this, then this Y is going to come into this decorative box. And I just don't know, um, or that one, and I just don't know if, um, I don't know if I'm going to put a a day of the week sticker here. I'm not sure. So I don't think I'm going to use that. I could use that scripty May. I mean this print May, but I don't think I want to use that either. And these are a little too plain. I want something really cute, but there's a Cinco de Mayo stamp, which we'll need, but I have another one in mind. So give me a second. I'm going to pull, um, there's one that I already know I want to use. Um, let me just find it. I 
have my stamps over here off to the side. I'm going to use this one. This is by the Sweet Stamp Shop, and it's called Calendar. Um, Sweet Stamp Shop is no longer around, but you can always search for this on eBay or Macari and see if somebody's reselling it. That's how I bought all my... I have, I have so much Sweet Stamp Shop, and the reason why I have them is because I bought them um, secondhand. So I'm always looking for Sweet Stamp Shop because they're just so cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place this upside down, my cutting mat right here. It just allows for a better space to stamp on. And then let me make myself some good room here. I'm going to put this aside over here. So we have stickers, we have all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to start by um, stamping May. I'm going to use this um, Versafine Claire in Chianti. Um, I just think it'll look really pretty. So I'm going to stamp that right there. And we're going to stamp it on each page. Just like this. Okay, so we've got them all stamped out. As you can see, it came out really nice. Okay, so we'll cover that up clean the stamp, put it back. Now, I like using um, a chamois to clean my stamps. I know a lot of people will use a paper towel or a baby wipe. I mean, using something like this is just so easy because you just wet it and it just cleans your stamps so nicely. Now, if you have stamps like this that got stained, that is just an ink staining. It's just the pigment in the ink. Not a big deal, does not affect how um, your stamps are gonna work. Okay, so we're done with this one place it here to file back into the system. Okay, so then I'm also going to put, I want some washi tape up here. So I haven't picked one yet, but we're going to grab one probably from Simply Gilded. Um, let's see. We'll just grab a pale, um, a pale pink. Or do I want a leopard? I want a leopard pink. Okay. And you can tell... <laughs> That I like the leopard pink because look at it. <laughs> it's like gonna run out. But not to fear because um, I'm sure I have more of this. I'm just like very sure of it. Okay, so well, no, I don't want to use this one. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have. Um, let's use the pink with silver hollow. I'll use this one. And I'm just going to place um, some washi. I got it curled. And I'm just going to rip it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do five. Just like this. And I'm going to place it um, right about. We'll put it lower, sort of go with May, just like that. I don't need this right now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Nothing fancy, just going to kind of place it like this. Cute. All right, that looks really cute. So for days of the week, I'm going to go ahead and use, there's some that I have here. Um, let's figure out which binder. <clears throat> I have some date covers here. And I, th I want to use these ones <laughs> because they're so cute. Look at how cute they are. Is it focusing? Come on, you can focus. Come on. Nope, doesn't want to. I don't know why. I hope... I hope everything's focusing here because that would be really sad if it weren't. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to make sure here. Uh, okay, well, hopefully that's working. All right, so I'm going to use um, this kind of all purpose tool, multi purpose tool. This one's by Creative Memories. Um, also, Close to My Heart makes one that's a little more ne neutral, it's black and gray. Um, I kind of prefer that one better, but anyway, um, but I have this one on hand, this ugly blue one. So I'm going to use, let's see, 
think I have a page that I may have already started. Yeah, right here. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to use these um, days of the week. And then um, I'm going to put something in these little circles where no, normally the, um, the date would go there. But I think I want to stamp um, the date numbers just so that it'll look kind of cuter. So um, I'll go ahead and use these here. But I'm trying to think, do I want to add a little something up here? Um, I'm just thinking maybe I'll take my, um, this is a Tombow 772 and I'm just thinking just to add some color, I'm just going to go like this and like this and I will do that to these boxes. to add a little kind of organic kind of bullet journaling type um, flair I guess that's how I would describe it All right. and then I can go ahead and put these down let's see how that looks just to add a little bit of um, separation there Oh, this is where the dots will come um, in handy. I'll go ahead and put it on this fourth, on the fourth one, like this. <laughs> so those dots came in handy for that so far. Fourth one, so I'm gonna cover my line just a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, that's adorable already. So if we can just keep the adorableness, I'll be happy. One, two, three, four. Oh, don't stick. Don't do it. You're not straight. Okay. So I will tell you that I hate my nails. And I've recorded like so many videos with these ugly nails. Um, so I normally do my nails myself. And I decided because of my thumb injury, I thought, you know what? Let me just go get them done um, at the nail salon. And so I did. And I hate them. <laughs> so hopefully this weekend I will go ahead and take them off and do them again. Now I'm gonna be counting dots for everything. But anyway, so yeah, these nails, they just, they're ugly. Okay, but anyway. Okay, so there we go. There's that, our dates are down. Um, I'm gonna put something in this circle and I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I have it in, I think it's in deco. Let's see. And they're just these little, here they are, little flowers. And um, they're just going to plop right there into that little circle area, just like this. Just like that. And then it won't look so weird. Because I just really want to stamp the dates. I love, I've been loving adding um, stamping to my spreads. I mean, it just looks so pretty. Um, and I'm really enjoying it and that's why I created these inserts and that's why I am printed these inserts on this um, heavier paper so that I can stamp not worry about ink bleed through you can see May um, there's a tiny bit of ghosting but it's like not even a big deal um, and that is a really dark color so really like um that okay so now let's get some dates down now lucky for us the first month i mean excuse me the first week of may starts um the monday is the first so this is going to be kind of easy so as for numbers um 
I'm looking at my number stamps and I'm just trying to see what I would like. I want something fun. Um, so, okay, so those, I was just looking at my four by six stamps, but I have larger ones um, over here in this other area. They look like this <laughs> and they're big. Um, so I want, oh, I like these. I think that's perfect. It's nice and playful. Let me just make sure. Um, I mean, there are just so many good ones. Okay, this is so fun. It's so big, but it'll just take up too much room. Um, if you want to know where any of these are from, you can just pause the video and take a screenshot. All of um, the company and the name of the stamp are there. Um, this is actually really cute, too. Okay. And this is super cute, too. But I'm going to go ahead and use this. I really like it. So this is from the Stamps of Life. And it's called Letters for Letter Tray. So very, very, very cute. So we're going to go ahead and use these. And I'll go ahead and use my Catherine Puller inks for this, I think. Or do I want to use the dark Chianti? Um, I think I'm going to use the dark Chianti because, um, which is this Versafine Claire, because um, I want the date to really stand out. I don't want it to blend. So we're going to go ahead and start with one. And this one, I've used it before. It's kind of tricky because it likes to lean on its side before I grab it with a block, but this time it didn't. Okay, so let's see. I think I want, um, where do I want it? Do I want it? I don't want it in the middle because it's going to waste too much space. So let's go ahead and, um, let's see, it's going to go up to seven. So the widest is probably like a five. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put it here in this corner. And I am going to use the VersaFine Claire. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp one. Wow, that dot grid really helps. <laughs> I hate to admit it. <laughs> okay, I'll put... Um, let's see. We'll get these all stamped out. We have two. Oh, I want to put this down here actually. What a cute font. I mean, it is just so cute. This three is going to be amazing. And three is my favorite number. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, let me get the rest of this done. All right, so that is done and it looks absolutely adorable. Um, love it. Love, love. So I'm just going to put this back and put it aside. So what are we going to do next? So we have the days of the week, we have the month, and we have the dates. So far, so great. Um, now it just needs a little bit of deco. Um, a couple of things on Thursdays. Um, I like to notate that the new episode on Paramount Plus for Grease, The Rise of the Pink Ladies comes out. Every Thursday, um, a new episode comes out. Um, so I want to notate that on Thursday. I want to notate um, Dodger Games, which is all week with the exception of Thursday. And then Friday is Cinco de Mayo. Um... Sunday, there's a birthday, um, my brother-in-law's birthday. Um, so there are a couple things that I need to um, notate. And then as far as the decorative box here um, that you can do anything with, you can add trackers here, you can divide it up and have three lists, you can have two lists, groceries and errands. Um, I love this large box where you can just do whatever you want. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to hold off on this. I have an idea of what I want to do. I think I want to journal about the Plan So Cute collaboration um, because this will be kind of the first official week that we'll be doing it. And so I want to journal about that. So I might have um, 
create a flip up where I can kind of journal a lot about it. Um, and uh, so that's kind of the idea that I have for here. So let me go ahead and put my Dodger games in. Now I have ordered a baseball stamp. <laughs> I found one on Etsy um, and I'm really excited about it, but it hasn't even shipped yet. So it's not gonna be coming anytime soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use um, sticker labels, which is not a big deal. Um, I will go ahead and grab some boxes. So let's see what we have. And we'll go ahead and use these for um, the Dodger games. So I can use these, um, or I can use something a little bit bigger. So I put these in order. You know, this is just the great thing about having a st sticker system like this is, first of all, you can take them out to use them for your spread or even take out a couple so that um, you could take it with you to a planner meetup if you don't want to take your whole book or um, you know, you're not like pulling them in and out of plastic sleeves. I just like to flip through them like this. So you can put them in any order and categorize them any way you'd like. And so I have them categorized where it's quarter boxes and then it's um, half boxes and then it's full boxes coming up there, right there. Okay, so that's how I have it. And then like when I found there was a little bit of room on the sticker sheet where I couldn't necessarily add another box, but I can add some little cute little heart um, conversations. I did that too. So um, anyway, okay, so back to this. So let's see, do we wanna use that box? Let me see if I have a box with the frog so I can kind of match it. Let's see if I do. Okay, this would go with it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use these. I think this will be perfect. Um, so I have multiple pages because, you know, I'm obsessive like that. Um, I've never used these ones, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. It's just a little bit easier for me to work, um, especially videotaping. Now, what I do is, on my sticker sheets, I remove the negative space. So you can see that the, the labels are just on the sticker backing. <laughs> I remove the negative space. Your stickers, when you order them, will not come like that. They'll come intact. And then you can decide whether you wanna remove the negative space or not. I like to remove it because it makes it easier for me to use this tool and pick them up like this. Okay, so it just makes it a little bit easier for me um, to do that. So let's see. So this will be my Dodger games. And I just didn't use the green because I didn't want to be too matchy-matchy there, but I can use it here, actually, but then that'll be really weird. Okay, let me go ahead and take them randomly like this. Okay, we'll take a blue. And I will not need one for Thursday because that is their off day. Okay, so no Thursday, but we will need it Friday. I'll use purple. And I just recently got um, a Cinco de Mayo stamp and die set. It's, it's for card making, but I'm thinking I might want to use it in here. Um, so, you know, my stamps were generally for um, card making, and then I just... I just really wanted to um, stamp in my planner. I just, I really, I love stamping. I love that, you know how we as decorative planners, we hoard our stickers? Well, with stamps, you don't have to worry about that. You can use your stamps forever. And then, you know, as I use these numbers in different colors, inks, um, they're just gonna look different. So I just, I love the idea of stamping um, and stickering and washing and lettering and just all the things in the planner, right? Okay, so this is looking really cute. Okay, so we have a birthday here and I have I have this birthday set by Studio L2E, Birthday Wishes. Um, so I think that will be nice to put here and then I'll also add um, a box. So I think I'm gonna add, let's see, how do I wanna do this? So let me go ahead and get, um, I think I'm gonna stamp a box um, versus sticker a box because I've already stickered um, boxes there. So let's see. Mm, I could use something like this and then I can add the balloon kind of in here. I think that'll look really cute. So let's do that. Okay. 
All right, so this is by Catherine Puller. It's called Headers and Icons. Um, oh, back to my conversation about card making and then wanting to stamp with my card making supplies into my planner. Um, so, of course, then I started looking at planner stamps that are specifically for planners. So this particular stamp set, for example, is not necessarily for card making, although they can cross over just like they do. Um, this is more intended for planners. So, and then this one, um, well, Studio LTE is a very... Um, planner heavy stamp company so I would imagine they intended this for planners but I can also use them in my card making so okay so I think I'm gonna use one of these let's see um, I can even put it here as a highlight I think I'll do that instead of putting it into the vertical column um, these boxes are not 1.5 inch wide they are bigger um, you can kind of see that there. I mean, it's not that much of a deal, a big deal. I could still stamp them here in the vertical column. Um, but, but I think I'd rather have it here. Um, and I'll use this stitched one here. Well, I'll, no, I'll use these double lines because it's for my brother-in-law. So we don't want to make it too girly. <laughs> so we'll use this one and then we'll end up. So it's right here. And so we'll end up just putting a balloon um, in there kind of like let's just focus on this balloon right here I'll kind of move it in there like that I don't know if you can see that square back there but okay so I need a bigger block I have one right here so I'm gonna grab that and we'll do this um, now I am gonna use girly colors unless I bring out a green um, okay let me bring out a green so I don't have to use a girly color I need to grab my swatch book because I need to pick the right green that's gonna match this right here. So I have this swatch book with um, my different inks. Um, I have it right here um, on this tab, anything behind this tab. These are Catherine Puller. This one is Versifying Claire, and then this one is Close to My Heart. So those are the ones that I um, tend to use here in my planner. And so I have them here in the planner area. Um, okay, so <laughs> look at how cute. Lime Ricky is so cute. That would look cute. It might be a little too green, but then this is a little too bright. Let's see. Um, oh, here's some lighter ones. Perfect. I'll use um, matcha. Matcha. I think that'll be perfect. Okay. So let me grab that. I have it right here. So we'll use this one. This is a Catherine Puller ink. And we'll go ahead and go with a more kind of masculine color so that his doesn't have to be pink or purple, <laughs> I guess, right? So then I'm gonna put this here, just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. Now I'm gonna stamp off just right here in a corner. I just wanna see how that comes out. Okay, and I love it. I'm sorry that's not in frame, but I just kinda, of, underneath all of this, I have um, this We Are Memory Keepers paper, and it just allows me to kinda of stamp off and do things like that. I'm gonna bring this a little bit lower so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but how nice would it be if it is? But it's not, it's crooked, and I'm not worried about it. So stamping is not always perfect. Um, and I believe it's something that we have to kind of accept, right? Um, so that, you know, we don't have expectations of perfection. And I learned that from um, Heba from um, my little journal. She's someone that I follow on YouTube. And she's kind of ingrained that into my head. And I really love the concept because I tend to be a perfectionist and like everything to be perfect. Um, especially when it comes to creating. And so I really like the idea that um, I'm learning and adapting that stamping. Um, you just can't you just can't get perfection from it. It's just not possible um, with the nature of stamping, but I love it and it's perfectly okay. Okay, so there we have our box and then I'm just trying to see see how I can fit this balloon right in there. How cute is that? Um, and then I can even fill it. So I love when it comes to planner stamps, not necessarily for card making, but for, for decorative planning. When it comes to my stamps, what I love is an outline stamp with a filler stamp. Because 
with card making, when I have an outline stamp, I can use my Copic markers and I can get blendy and just do all that stuff and be um, super creative. With planning, I can't use my Copics um, because they will bleed right through. I mean, they're just they're just not forgiving when it comes to paper. So I like to be able to stamp my outline and then color it in with another color with these filler stamps. So. I just love that. So I'm trying to see which balloon I want to use. Um, and I think I want to go ahead and use this one right here. So we will grab that along with its filler stamp. Okay, so we have that and we have this. And then I will grab, so this doesn't have a streamer. Oh, it has a little baby one right here. Okay, so I'll use that, oh, no problem. I was looking for a longer streamer. I could always draw one, but um, it comes with this one and this one's just fine. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna do, do I, I can do, you can do it either way. You can do your outline first or your filler first. It really doesn't matter. Um, unless you're using, you're using like a really opaque ink, um, then I guess that would matter. Let me just, I gotta put this somewhere where I'm not gonna lose it. I'll put it right there. Okay, and then we're gonna use this filler. And then I will go ahead and grab a smaller block for this little um, ribbon, um, just so I don't lose it. So, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's see, I'm trying to see what colors. I think it's gonna have to get a little girly. Um, I don't wanna use blue. I could use blue because it's in the spread right here on Thursday. I could use yellow, but then I have to go back to my swatch book. Okay, I guess I should do this right. Even though there's no wrong. So let's see, let's pick fast. Oh, that yellow's so pretty. Lemongrass, that is so pretty. Okay, so that might be nice. Um, so, but I also like Tiara and Catching Rays. So I think I'm gonna use Jeez. All right, I'm gonna use whipped honey. So let me grab it. Uh, where are you, whipped honey? Right here. So I'm gonna use whipped honey for the filler. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that first. Now, I have not used these birthday stamps yet. Um, so I'm just taking my finger or your palm or the back of your hand. You just wanna rub it against there. And then, I don't know if you, yeah, you can tell, it gets cloudy. And that's when you know your stamp is ready to use. So here, see how it's crystal clear? Um, you want to, it's called priming your stamp, and you want your stamp, your clear stamp, to be cloudy like this because it'll grab the ink better because during production, there's this kind of glossy film on it when you first get your stamp. And once you prime it, you don't really have to prime it anymore. Um, that gloss is kind of gone. But anyway, so you'll want to do that. So we'll just add this balloon right there. Oh, so cute. So good. Okay, and then we'll add a little streamer. And the streamer is gonna be what color? It's gonna be, <laughs> I wanna use pink so bad. Um, should I use black? Yeah, I'm gonna use black, especially for him. He loves black. Oh gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna use black. And again, does not even have to line up completely. It'll still look cute. You can see it's a little offset, barely. I mean, it's practically perfect, but see that little offset? I think that's so cute. You know, you, you sometimes can even do that intentionally um, just because it just looks a little retro when it's a little offset. I just, I love it. Okay, and then we'll do his little streamer. We'll go ahead and do it in black. Um, okay, so we'll add this little streamer. Let me, I'm gonna bring this closer to me because I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. We'll just add that right there, just like that. Okay, and then I'll take my, I have a little black marker here and I'm just gonna kinda connect to this like that. And it's perfect! Oh, I love it. That is just perfect and it's not totally girly. <laughs> Right? It's not totally girly. Okay, so that's for Garrett's birthday. 
and we'll go ahead and put these stamps back. So this is a great birthday stamp set. I mean, you know, just think about the possibilities because you could use any colors. You can do whatever you want. You can add letters inside the balloon and spell someone's name. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with stamps. I still absolutely love stickers. I absolutely love stickers. I'm not giving up on stickers, as you can see, and I'm not giving up on washi. I'm just saying that stamps are really fun and they last forever. So you don't have to worry about running out of washi or running out of stickers. Okay, so there's that. And then we have um, that episode that I was telling you about on Thursday. So let's go ahead and add that in. Okay, don't wanna get these two mixed up. Okay, so for that, um, I wanna use a movie. Okay, let me put this back. So this one is a box by Catherine Puller. I have mine in alphabetical order. Okay, so now um, the movie, I have it under events because it just makes sense to me like that. It's a movie. Um, so I have one from Studio Calico, and that's what I'm looking for right now. Actually, I have I have several. I have a lot of kind of movie ones, but um, here they are. Um, this one's called Movie Night from Studio Calico, and then this one's called TV Time. Now here's another example of an outline stamp and the filler, and this looks so cute. I'm gonna, maybe I'll use it so I can show you. I mean, there's so many stamps that I wanna use, but we'll use this one so I can show you. I've used it lots of times, as you can see. Um, it is just a really, really good, um, outline and filler and then I can write in this box okay so we'll go ahead and we'll do the filler first just like we did before um, and that's gonna be too small so we'll use the stamp block and this one is gonna be pink and purple <laughs> so um, it'll fit right here in this vertical box it's not gonna be perfect but it'll be just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and use the lilac and the sparkling berry so I think I'm gonna use um, the lilac as the filler and the sparkling berry as um, the outline. So I wanna just um, test it out here on my little paper, just because I like to. So that would be the background. So that's pretty dark, you see what I mean? This is where I like to try it. Um, so let me go ahead and try the sparkling berry as a background or as a filler. Okay. So I think I'm gonna use black. So I'm gonna, as the outline, and then that'll kind of bring back the birthday balloon that I did in black also. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, Sparkling Berry as my filler. Okay, we'll put it, let me bring this lower so I can actually see. And we're just gonna plop it right here, just like that. Super, super, super cute. I love this one. Okay. And then we'll grab the outline. And you could just leave it just like that. Um, but I want I like to use the outlines. So I'll go ahead and pick up the outline. And then I'm going to cover up these so that they don't dry. And then we'll use the VersaFine um, in black for that outline. Okay. Again, does not have to be perfect. And that is freaking adorable. Jesus. Okay. And I did buy a lighter pink um, because I kind of, I really love my pastels, but I don't have that yet. But anyway, okay. So there's that. That's going to be for the new episode um, coming out on Thursday. And then, um, okay, let's see. <laughs> I love this one. It says, I like to party. And by party, I mean stay in. <laughs> That's so cute. But I don't want that there. Because it's just, it's too like, too boxy of a font. Like, I'm using like fun fonts and cutesy fonts. And so, um, I think that that's what I'm going to use from this one. And then, let's see. Because I kind of feel like I want to stamp something else. Um, not I can use Now Playing or Movie Night would be really cute. And it's a playful font, so I like that one. Oh, I know what I want to do, actually. 
I want to use my stickers because in here I have a category called entertainment and I have the cutest movie stickers. Okay, so there's this one. Um, oh, so cute. Okay, but look at this one. So <laughs> they have their 3D glasses on. So I'm definitely going to use that. Okay, so I used pink here. So why don't I use... Um, I'll use this teal kind of turquoise also because it's very retro like what I'm watching. And so I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and then there's these Art Deco marquees. Um, just so cute. There's popcorn. Um, and then I have Starbucks and stuff like that behind there. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to add popcorn also. We'll add a yellow one. And I'll just kind of put it right here. Um, yeah, I'll put it right here. Just kind of stick it there. Adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. So we have, this goes like this. All right, so we have um, our Dodger games. And then you flip this over. I have the movie night for the episode I want to watch. I have a birthday right here. Okay, so we have Cinco de Mayo, right? So let's go ahead and work on that. Um, I'm going to grab a stamp set that's in the card making area because it's not necessarily a planner stamp, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I have five billion ideas going through my head right now. So um, it's a shame that it can only be Cinco de Mayo once. Um, okay, so these are the new, the new um, collection that I got. It's by Jaded Blossom, and it's called Let's Fiesta, uh, a Cinco de Mayo type thing. Okay, this is something separate. But anyway, um, it's a whole bunch of dyes, and I love the papel picado right here, and the chiles, and just like, it, the ta there's tacos, and they're, it's just so cute. And then there's a, um, a sombrero, and um, more succulents, maracas, piñatas, donkeys, um, you know, and then there's this guy <laughs> and it says fiesta like there's no mañana um let's fiesta and then i could have sworn there were more wait a minute i had more oh it's in sentiments it's in it's in a different category okay I, i'm gonna have to grab it um but anyways so i mean i could use um this guy on cinco de mayo i don't know if i want to but i could because he could just fit right there, just like that. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it. Okay. So again, card making stamps turning planning. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna put him here because then all my journaling space goes away, but I have room right here. I could absolutely put him there. Why not? Okay. So we are going to put him there and we are going to probably, I think we should use this matcha again, the green, um, because he is a succulent and he is just going to kind of go like that. And I don't think this block is big enough, but I have one right here that I stole from my sister, um, earlier this week. I'm serious. I really did. Okay. So this is a brand new stamp. So I'm just conditioning it like I had mentioned making it cloudy can you tell yep you can <laughs> okay oh okay so while I was grabbing these stamps I found this and how perfect is this for Thursday when the grease the rise of the pink ladies <laughs> shows so I don't know how I'm gonna fit all this but that's why I really like having one week on four pages because there's room for lots and lots and lots of deco okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take the ink to the stamp for this one because it's a pretty big stamp um part of me wants to stamp off on the um, practice paper first just to kind of see if I'm gonna like it and part of me wants to just go for it um, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't try it. So, oh, yes. Okay, we're going for it. And whenever you're holding your ink like this and you're taking the ink to the stamp instead of the stamp to the ink, you want to be really careful because I'm right here, right over my planner pages. 
and I could easily drop this, especially because I have a Band-Aid on. So you want to be really careful. All right. So let this, let's get this little guy down. He is just, oh, I kind of want to, okay, but I don't. Okay, I'm going to put him right here. Just like that. And we're going to press down. And if you're concerned about stamping, use a Misty um, stamp positioning tool. You can always do that. And then if you missed any spots or whatever, as you're getting used to your stamping, you can go back and stamp it again because it stamps in the same place. Um, you could totally do that. And you can fit planner pages if you buy the 12 the twelve inch version. Um, I have it for planning. Um, now I'm just kind of getting really comfortable with my stamping that I just kind of go for it. I mean, you can see I still practice and I stamp off. I stamped off right here. I know you can't see it, but okay. So tell me he's not adorable. He's adorable. Now I could go in and I could color him in with colored pencils. I could use my Tombow markers. Um, but I like, I like it just like that. Um, I like it just like that. I use a colored ink so that it can look colorful. Um, so I can put that quote right there by the five. Um, that might look really nice. Or let's fiesta. That's kind of really small, but that's not bad. Um, yeah, let's use that. I'm not going to go and get the other sentiments. There's some other sentiments um, that go with this collection, but I'm, I'm not going to go grab them. I want to um, get this done and not take up too much of your time. So we're going to use the Let's Fiesta. I think it's perfect. Um, and I'm going to stamp it in Sparkling Berry by Catherine Puller. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just put this right here, just like that. Very, 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 very cute. See how brave I'm getting too? I didn't even stamp off on my practice paper. Okay. All right. So we have Cinco de Mayo. We have um, movie night. We have the birthday in, we have the Dodger games in. We're trying to do everything that's really important um, that we have to have room for. By the way, if you're not comfortable stamping directly in your planner, but you do want to stamp, say for example, you're not using thick pages like I am, so there's no bleed through on the other side, as you can see, um, and you're using just a happy planner or something like that, you could always purchase this anyway stamp it on sticker paper and you can even run it through a die cutting machine with this die and it'll create the cutest little sticker that you can just if yes so you can do that too um all right so i need to decide if i want to put this here i mean part of me really really wants to so that means that we're going to so this is the ink road great to see you glasses um i got this kind of a while ago but I mean, how cute if you were like doing a Harry Potter spread or if I were doing one on my husband's birthday, he wears um, Wafer by Ray-Ban. Um, so, oh, guess what I just realized? These, it's, it's the outline and the filler. Outline and the filler. This one's just, just a solid image and so is this one. So this one doesn't have both. But how cute that these do. That is adorable. But that's okay. I'm still going to use these cat eyes because I think they're perfect for the movie Grease. So, um, or the series on Paramount+. Plus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so where do I... I think I want it up here. That way I can journal um, right underneath it. Um, because it won't fit right here. So we'll go ahead and put it here. Just like we did with Let's Fiesta. Okay. And it won't fit there, so I'll use the larger block. Not a big deal. And we will prime. And I will go ahead and use lilac. Since I used Sparkling Berry for the Let's Fiesta, I'll go ahead and use lilac for the glasses. Okay. 
<laughs> how cute. They're pretty big. I wish they were a little bit smaller, but I'm not mad at it at all. Okay. Just a personal preference. All right. So I think we're done with stamping most likely. And now we're just going to sticker. But what happens is I just think of all the stamps I have and I just kind of remember things. I didn't remember this one. Um, but I do have all my stamps um, inventoried. So I could go to my computer and I could um, type retro and this would come up along with probably some other ones. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. Okay, so the first three days of May are looking really boring, <laughs> right? I mean, they look super cute and it's going to fill up. Well, let me move this. Okay, so here we have, perfect. Okay, so we have um, the first, second, and third. And then, boom, we have an incredible weekend. <laughs> then we have the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Um, birthday, movie night, um, Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so um, we're going to add some more stickers. So let's see. Or do I want to? I mean, I don't know. You can see a little, by the way, you can see a little ghosting here. And it was done with a purple, but it must have something in that ink, something that's obviously... Um, a dark tone but again does not bother me I'm gonna write right over this I'm gonna journal or I'm gonna sticker or I'm gonna stamp again not even worried about it um, not a big deal okay so let's see what do I want to do god this is really cute and you see how the dot grid is like now not as obvious at least for me the way it was in the very beginning I was like wow that's kind of a lot of dot grid but I love that there are not lines going through this box. So I think I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to like that. Okay, but we need to continue. So let's see. Let's turn here. And um, I might be going to my sister's on Tuesday, um, but I'm also not sure. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to put that in there because I know my mom also wants to go see her not that I don't want to go at the same time but my sister had an injury and so I would be going to help her and take care of her but if my mom's going then I'm not going to go so I'm not sure what day I'm going to my sister so I'm not going to put that um in here I'm going to wait until it actually happens so let's see what can I use I'll go ahead and show you what I'm flipping through look at these look at these payday stickers <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Ah, uh, no spend. Oh, gosh. That's hard to use those. Okay, so then we have our boxes. Um, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to add some um, dividers. Oh, my God, look at these boxes that match um, this whole theme. So I think I'm going to put some of these down um, just in case. I need them. Oh, I'm going to put a divider there. So let me go ahead and put this down here. And then I'll add a green one right here. Like that. I'm going to add something right there in the middle. Okay, so I think that's good. And then let's see what else. Okay. not showing you again I gotta show you how cute I love these rescheduled canceled postponed because they just they're just like a banner that just go right over the box and I so I, I do use these a lot um okay birthday we already have the birthday there um laundry I love these laundry ones so I'll probably do um well I'll probably do laundry this weekend actually so I'll probably end up using that in this week's spread um, and then there's cleaning, and then there's grocery shopping, and there's printing stickers, which I'm sure I'm going to be doing the first week of May. So I'll be using those. Okay. I love this artist, Gonna Art. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Um, let's see. Do I want it right here? Yeah, let's put it right here. 
see. Oh, you know what? It's my brother-in-law's 30th birthday, which is kind of a big deal. So maybe I'll use this three. Oh, look, it happens to be yellow. Yep, let me go ahead and use these. Let's see, how do I want them? Mm. I'll put it right here. Just like that, it's his 30th. That'll be perfect. We have days of the week. Don't need those. Okay, and then we have some really cute decorative stickers, um, which I do want to use. So let me go ahead and put some here. On this first of the month, it would be really cute to have one of these cute bunnies. Her name is Connie. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and we'll put her on the first of the month. Like, hello! Okay. That almost looks like a situational thing, like a 10. <laughs> okay, but it's not. All right, and then we'll put this guy. Uh, we'll put, we'll use this one here, right here. Just like that. And then we'll use Okay, we'll put this one, oops, wrong one, we'll put this one right here, not straight, like that. Let me put one on Saturday. I think that'll be really cute. I wonder if I want it up here with the washi. Yeah. Put that there. So just some little final touches. Okay, this guy. This guy right here, he needs a... Um, a happy thing like this. He's happy. I don't like that. Put it right here. Okay. Oh, cute. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> These flowers, so pretty. Mm, yeah, I'll put it right here. So pretty. Now, if I do go to my sister's and I spend the night, I'll use this. <laughs> Look at the onesies pajamas. So cute. Oh. So cute. Oh yeah, let's use some bunting flags because they're just adorable. Okay, so I'll use it on the, I'll put it on the second. Gosh, what color, I love them all. Um, gosh, this is difficult. Mm -hmm. Do one like that. Perfect. Here's those little hearts that I used. And so, let's see. Okay. Let's go to the next book, and then we'll be wrapping this up. I really, really love the way everything is coming out. I don't want those stamps to... Um, 
distract. Okay, so we have our second book right here. And let's see what I'll pull from this one. Um, I don't have any appointments this week, so that's good. Habit trackers, I'm not going to use. Okay, headers. I do want to use some of these bows. Remember I said I was going to put something here. So I will put um, this bow there just for decoration and separation. And that dot grid really came in handy right now. Normally this is blank. It doesn't have a dot grid normally, so that's kind of cool. Um, we can also put a scallop down here just to kind of anchor that like that. That's really cute. Do we need one here? Nope, we don't need one there. We can put one on Sunday also. Like that. Oh, we have this one too. Oh my gosh, we have these ones. Okay, which match the theme. So I'm gonna use these also. We can put this here, right there. I can put this right here. Okay, very cute. And then let's get one here also. Okay, and I think, I think that's good. I don't need any lists, okay. Oh, planning, maybe I could put this into Sunday. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this onto Sunday as a planning day right here perfect I think we're done um, I think we're done if I go to my if I end up going to my sister's I'll use these cute little um, on the road type stickers um, oh the other thing I was I was oh how about a weekend banner um, so yeah, we can use a weekend on Saturday. Let me go ahead and do that. So I don't know if I want to use one of these or one like this or one like this. Oh, okay, but I have enough of him there. So I think I'm gonna use this one of these. So I will use um, this one. Here or here, I'll do it here. Okay, this dot grid really coming in handy and I have a feeling when I journal, all these dots are just gonna go away. I really do think so. So let's go ahead and do a quick flip through because we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my planner and I'll be back with a flip through. All right, so here we are for the first week of May. We have, ooh, so I gotta think about what I'm gonna do here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a flip up for journaling. Okay, so we have um, the first three days of the week. And then the last four days, I think it came out absolutely adorable. I have to go in and write my Dodger games and birthdays and all of that stuff. But it came out really good. I really love it. I hope you guys are looking forward to the Lisa Love Studio and um, Plan So Cute collaboration where I will be um, having their beautiful artwork in my store um, for um for physical products so i'm really excited about that if you have any ideas of what, what you would like to see made um, let me know comment below if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next one Bye bye